The visibility is very low there at the moment. You can see this fog just rolling all the way across the landscape. I'm not even going to begin to say that this is just as nice and different as on a clear sunny day because it's not. The special thing about up here is when it's clear and you can see for miles and miles. From the top of Jouse you can actually see uh, Snowdonia in Wales on a clear day. So the view from up here is really what's magical about the hill. That being said, there's a very peaceful, it's a very peaceful feeling walking along here with that fog. It has a, the same sort of rhythm as you might find with the ocean. It's just tumbling along there and it's silent. It's really quiet. So I'm most definitely enjoying this. This is the top of Jouse. I think it's 720 metres, 725 metres above sea level. And what's special about just here now is that you see the fog, but directly above my head, it's like I'm in the eye of a storm. The sky is blue. Gotta go look for somewhere to sleep now. This is the bit that people who are afraid or let's say apprehensive about going wild camping, this is the bit that concerns them the most. Where are they gonna sleep? Are they gonna be able to find somewhere safe? And the truth is, I mean, it's just about finding a flat spot that's not gonna get waterlogged overnight if it rains and where nobody will see it. Like, that's not too obvious. That's all it is. There's really nothing else to it. It could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. It doesn't really matter and anyway what I wanted to say about it is the thing that worries people which is the where am I going to sleep that's the bit that makes this most exciting so when you get used to doing this it's the bit that you'll come to appreciate the most so keep that in mind I woke up at 6 and it's almost 9 o'clock now. Just been sitting here. I wasn't even reading for most of that time. Just sitting here. I don't know what I was doing. 
sitting here. <laughs> but I was writing something for post on social media and it was that waking up here in the middle of all this heather this morning. It just left me in a, a really mindful state. A reverie as I call it. You know, in the present moment in other words. And I was saying how it reminded me of something Steve Irwin said. Steve Irwin used to say that when we save wild animals, we ultimately save ourselves. And I think a similar thing is true about spending time outdoors. And that the more time I spend out here, the more I care about the world around me, the more I care about the other people around me, and the more I care about the relationship I have with myself. You know, so this any opportunity to get outdoors is a great thing. I believe this is, there was a time when this was our home, you know? People were just always out here. They lived out here. So, coming back here, it does more and more start to feel like going home. And it does wonders for the mind. And I believe anyone can feel that way about it if they come out here enough. 